What is happening? Okay, never mind. Um, that Ursh and that Ogre Pond definitely does... Would be pretty darn nice for that Milo. Game? Okay. Good afternoon, Pokemon Sports. What's out of the VGC Battle Stadium Regulation ah. video bringing you the first Pokemon ever created, Rhydon. Here we are, 20 something million years later, and we're finally using Rhydon here on Pokemon Sports. Rocking the Lightning Rod at four, the supportive option. Rocking the Eevee Light because we can. And then also, with the Terra Blast and Terrestrialization, we can get away from our garbage rock and ground typing. Now, four times weak to grass, four times weak to water. Not what you want to see when Ogre Pond is one of the most used Pokemon in the meta. So, now that we can terrestrialize away from that, we have opportunity here with Rhydon. Not just that, we also have access to things like Supercell Slam, which I haven't used because uh, I'm scared. I am so terrified to use this move for obvious reasons. One, if you go through a Protect, you do half health. Two, if you miss, you do half health. There's a lot of things that can go wrong with Supercell Slam. You know what? I'm willing to try everything once. Regardless, we have a Rhydon here. This Rhydon set is specifically meant to counter Raging Bolts. Because Raging Bolts with Electric or Dragon, and you being a Fairy type with Lightning Rod, like, what do they do? They do quite literally nothing to your whole team. The rest of the team is kind of self-explanatory. We have the Chiyu here for the very harsh choice specs fire damage. We have the Rillaboom for the grassy terrain and the fake out pressure. There's a little bit of an anti-synergy here with the grassy terrain and the earthquake on Rhydon. So just keep that in mind when you're using this team that you can accidentally lower your earthquake damage by having the grassy terrain on the field. But like every VGC battle, you don't have to bring Rillabooms to the same battles that you bring Rhydon. They, they do two very different things. We have Urshifu on this team as well with the Swords Dance and the Poison Terra so that Flutterbands can't one-shot you. The Whims are caught with Endeavor, which I learned is apparently not activated by Prankster. But like low-key, that's good. Because you're able to Endeavor Dark types. <laughs> so like that's a little bit of a an interesting move and an interesting interaction. I learned that for the first time today. So keep that in mind when you're using Whimsicott. I mean, you're able to actually endeavor like opposing Ferrigiraffs as well if you're down to like one HP and you want to get rid of a Ferrigiraff quickly. Speaking of Ferrigiraff, we also have one on our on our team with Imprison and Trick Room just in case we go against any hard Trick Room stuff. But at the same time, if you want to set Trick Room and then have your ride on pop off, that's also an option that you have. Now, this team is from Fear the Taco 1790 on Discord. Love your name. Thank you so much for posting this team over there on Discord. I'm going to assume your name is also Brendan because I have the opportunity to play right on on the channel and not many people can say they have that opportunity with that said if you guys are excited to see what the heck right on is gonna do hit the like button now subscribe to pokey sports if you haven't done so already and with that said let's get on to today's video marcelo here running the vanilla cabalion okay i see the beat up oh, i see it swim cabalion lead 120 percent of the time what do we do about it though that sure is the darn question. I have Endeavor. Okay, that, that might be able to do something. I'm looking for redirection. I don't think I have it on my team, unfortunately. Wow, that's unfortunate. <laughs> that is very unfortunate. Okay, we have to leave with our own Whimsicott then. So we have to at least match the Tailwind. We have to somehow be faster than Cabalion with a Ghost Terra. Oh, perfect. Sounds great to me. All right. Yeah, we do Chi Yu Wim. Bring the Rhydon in the back, Dawn. Now, what's the last going to be? They don't really have any priority on their side of the field, so I guess I just go Dersh. Bring another Dark type. I mean, Dark in general is pretty decent against this team if it wasn't for that Cabalion. And it's not really like Rillaboom could do much to a Cabalion anyway. So yeah, I think this is the play. I think this is what we do. I think this is what we go for. I think this will be hard, but I think we have a chance. Marcel, best of luck. Wow. Okay, yep. We saw this. I have to... They're going to protect. That's a given. I have to Tailwind. I 
And I have to heat wave. I'm gonna hold Terra for now though. Cause there is no way that they don't Oh, they can't protect. That's right. Okay, so if they don't tailwind, they have to match my tailwind. Or they're going wa water terror right about now. Which means I should have ghost terrored. Okay. Which means I should have Rillaboomed. <laughs> I didn't bring Rillaboom at all. Interesting. How does this play out now? I'm getting taunted. Great, they went for the speed tie and I lost. That's always fun. Well, good news is I naturally outspeed. Burn, please. I could use a burn. No burn. Okay. I naturally outspeed. I was able to get my hit off, especially on the, the whim. I'm going to lose my Chiyu here, though. I think we're still okay, believe it or not. Because if I have Sucker Punch on this Ursh, we're good. Yeah, we're fine. Cool. This kind of opens me up. Now, they could also just... Yeah, let me Moonblast here. They could protect this turn, in which case I might want to go for a Swords Dance. Oh, yeah, I think I agreed here. I think it's very possible they protect Cabalion and then set up Tailwind just because I can't anymore. But just in case, I want a Poison Terror here. Because they could also just fire off a Moonblast into my Urge and make me sad. I might as well get rid of their Whim, though. That's definitely the play. All right, here's a Terra. I gotta hope that I still got something left here. Thing is, if they protect, I could just break through with Urshifu as well. But I need to Sucker Punch, and they know I need to Sucker Punch to outspeed them. All right, they do just Tailwind, and they're not protecting on Cabalion. All right. Sacred Sword does no damage, though. We're good. Awesome. I don't hate this turn. I don't hate this turn at all. One more turn of the Taunt, and then I will be able to Tailwind. And then my tail will actually outlast their tailwind, so that's good news for me. And because I got the Swords Dance now, that Cabalion's gotta be a little afraid of me. I'm a scary looking Dursh. Alright. What are they going with now? I don't think they had any psychic types that I should be concerned with. I was wrong. Why? I just sucker it, right? I'm pretty sure I just sucker it. Or I could just protect myself. Kind of get a feel for what they're going to do. I don't hate to protect. I need to get a feel for what they're about to do. I also need to get my tailwind up so that I don't feel forced. That's why we wait and see. That is exactly why we wait and see. They have quick guard on that dude. All right. That is no fun. Great damage on the Latias. And there's the taunt. Okay. I can Moonblast. I don't think it matters too much now, though. I wonder if they quick guard again. I kind of want to Tailwind and get a little greedy here. I don't think they Quick Guard again. I'm going to Sucker Punch Latias. I'm making a call here. I'm making a big call here. And I'm Tailwinding pretty much just for the fact that I'll be able to outspeed once their Tailwind runs out. Oh, they're also making a read. They're thinking too. This game is getting spicy. Oh, boy. I'm on my tippy toes. They don't do it. I don't think they do it. I think quick guard goes before tailwind. We got him. <laughs> nice. All right. Woo. Rocky helmet's going to hurt, but I don't think there's anything Cabalion can do to knock us out. They were pretty safe into this Cabalion. Iron head into win. We have a sash for that. We have endeavor too. <laughs> sash endeavor whim. It might actually do something next turn. Unless they quick guard me again. Oh, they can quick guard me again. Mm. 
That's right. Can I double protect? Stall out their own tailwind? I think I could. That way I don't have to quick I don't have to go for priority moves. Alright. Incinny gonna be their last one here. I can't endeavor that guy either. Okay, never mind. Endeavor is not the greatest strat in the world. But Incin versus my Rhydon in the back, I think Rhydon wins that. This is a no-brainer. This is the most no-brainer I've ever done. Just double detect, don't have to think this turn. Not a single thought in my brain right now. Not a single one. The next turn, we just go all in on that Combalion, and then we worry about Incin later. Oh, they just fake out win. Interesting. Yep, okay. I'm liking where this is this is going. Their tailwind's running out. I still got a tailwind left. Which means we blast the moon. Actually, I guess we might as well. I am a hundred percent sure certain my wicked blow one shots this cabalion, so. <laughs> I hope you like justified boost, because you're about to get one from the grave, dude. Yeah, I def I, at plus two swords dance, I definitely, definitely one-shot it here. Let's Moonblast the Ensign just for some chip and a special attack drop, I guess. We'll take that. Big ol' Wicked Blow. It lives! I gave it! It lived! Uh-oh. Get me out. I still live, too. Okay, cool. Neat. Never mind. I didn't think it lived! I'm sad that it lived. <laughs> Cause now what? Well, this sure does complicate things. <laughs> well, right on, you got this, man. I made this game accidentally harder for you somehow. Do I have a tail? I still have a tailwind for a turn. All right. I'm gonna protect the win. Keep it simple, EQ. Keep it simple in EQ. Tailwind, I don't think I'm gonna... I don't think I'm gonna be able to outspeed their Cabalion. But I think their Cabalion has to protect there. Because my Whimsicott can knock it out. Dang it, they Sacred Sword. I live, though. We live. I definitely outspeed Ensign. EQ, baby! This is your game, right on. It's your video. Shake the ground, my guy, you did it! Double KO for the ride on here at the end. Kind of picking up the scraps, but you know what? That's still a dub for ride on, folks. <laughs> we were able to prevent the Cabalion from getting the Justified Boots from the Whimsicott by focusing the Whimsicott right away, turn one. A well-timed Terra gave us the necessary defenses to take care of that Cabalion later with the Urshifu, and for some reason, a plus two Wicked Blow still didn't knock the Cabalion out at half health. What a wild ride. Anyway, on to the next. Macho Man. Macho rocking the Gouging Fire plus King Gambit thing. Okay. Double Steel types on their side of the field, triple Fire Weaknesses, quadruple Fire Weaknesses on their side of the field. Okay, Chiyu. Hello, Chiyu. Nice to see you. Hope you had a fun time. Uh, last battle, it's time to come back this battle. Alright. Uh, yeah, quadruple fire weaknesses is definitely a Chiyu play. I don't know if I want to throw it all away, though. I am considering it. It's also worth mentioning they have one, two, three things weak to Earthquake as well, but they do have Rillaboom, so... We're gonna have to be a little bit cautious about just clicking EQ all willy-nilly. Also, a, a couple of... A couple of uh, priority moves on their side. None of that really concerned me too much. I think I'm just gonna go Chiyu plus Wim right away. Bring the Rhydon in the back, and then maybe a late game Ursh. A late game Dursh doesn't seem too bad. Doesn't seem too shabby. Seems pretty darn nice. I'm gonna leave behind my my anti priority, which feels wrong, but at the same time, I do think it's the better play here. Especially considering how many common weaknesses that opposing team has versus, you know, how hyper-offensive my team really is. 
Now, looking at that team, they definitely do bring the Rillaboom. They'd be stupid not to bring the Rillaboom, right? They might even lead with the Rillaboom. Okay, Blue Power Ranger. Gouging Fire King Gambit. Okay. I mean, not the greatest thing in the world. Also not horrible. We could still make a lot of things happen here. Um, I honestly want to hold Protect for now, believe it or not. I'm going to click Heat Wave. I said hold Protect. I mean hold Tailwind. And I'm going to Moonblast into King Gambit. And I'm doing this for a reason. I'm doing this because that King Gambit most likely is going to Terrastalize here. If I had to guess. So I want to kind of hit him on both fronts, whether he's going to Dragon Terra. Or if he's just going to Fairy Terra. He's going to Terrastalize into something that isn't weak to fire. Hope, uh, probably. And if he doesn't, then he just has to good luck eat a Heat Wave. Not to mention, I'm just taking advantage of the fact that I have a Chiyu on the field. Chiyu could deal with the... Chiyu can help the Whimsicott out a little bit with this Moonblast. Alright, there's their Terrastalization. It's Fairy, so at least this is double neutral hits. The only thing that can go wrong and might go wrong is if I get the special attack drop on the Moonblast. Alright, there's their Hell. And then let's see what the King Gambit decides to do with that attack boost here. Moonblast? Eh? It's not a Soul Vested, which is good news. And I do so much damage to it. Terra Terry Terra Blast. Terra Fairy Terra Blast. Uh oh. We live it, though. We don't live it, though. Oh, my goodness. Talk about damage! Okay, well, good news for us. Our win condition is right on, folks! They don't even know! They're not even aware! And you know what? Fairy Terra. So guess what? You can't Brutal Swing me. Fairy Terra. EQ. And Moonblast something. I choose King Gambit. Moonblast the other guy. Why not? We don't need Chiyu. It's not like you had four things weak to fire on your team or anything. I'm a little sad on the inside. But hey, it is what it is. It was still my best option. I mean, maybe I could have overheated there. But then I still would have had to switch out the Chiyu. Alright, the Fairy Terror should help me out, though. Did I go for the Bulwark? That shouldn't matter. I just went for EQ anyway. Alright, Sucker Punch. Lol. Maybe next year. Moonblast to finish you off. Bye-bye. Alright. The only issue I could see now is if they Rillaboom swap. Because if they do, EQ is going to be doing a lot less damage. Unfortunately. And I am also doing damage to my own Wimmy here, but that that's fine. <laughs> I am a Whimsicott. Whatever. Actually, that, that's some pretty legitimate damage to a, a, to a resisted hit right there. Alright, fingers crossed. No Rillabooms. I also have Fairy Terra, Terra Blast as well, so... I don't have to click EQ. Still neutral on the Gouging Fire. It's only plus one right now. Okay, yeah, I can handle that. Alright, they're thinking about what they're doing. I guess they don't know who to go in with. They got Ogre, okay. Mr. Pawn is here. Alright, on my ride on, I do have a Dursh in the back. I am... I might just EQ again. Okay, how about we do this? How about I click protect to just get a feel for what they're doing? I hit a tailwind this turn. Keep it a little simple here. Because they can do a lot of things against me right now. And also, I kind of want to feel out the Rillaboom. They saw the EQ. They would have brought in the Rillaboom now if they had one, but I don't think they have one. Oh, they're just going to go straight Heat Crash. Brother, Rhydon's heavy, right? I hope Rhydon's heavy. Oh, they are doubling the Rhydon. Like, it's no one's business. Yeah, whatever. 
Okay, that's a little scary, not gonna lie. Huh. I'm gonna go for Terra Blast. And Moon Blast, I'm doubling the Ogre Pond here. Good, good. All right, that's a really good turn for me then. Moon Blast. Great crit there, we take those. Horn Leech, gonna get a little bit of health back, but not too much. Literally nothing at all, actually, like, perfect. I'm so afraid to Supercell slam something. Fairy Terra, Terra Blast from a Rhydon, how much are we doing? That sure is something. Actually, I think a Moon Blast finishes the rest there, so we can just probably EQ again here. They totally protect. They totally spiky shield. Yeah, they they have to spiky shield. I'm gonna moon blast the other guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> moon blast. That's damage. Can the EQ do the rest after this heat crash? Of course. Oh my poor Wimmy. Oh my Wimmy doesn't deserve that. I didn't do nothing. I ain't bother nobody. EQ time. Ride on. Get ready. Rhydon's taking out a Bulwark, baby. Yeah! Alright, I still got two turns of Tailwind left and a whole Ursh in the back. I love my odds. My odds feel really darn good right about now. Alright, Ursh, what you got? What do they got is a better question. What is their final Pokemon against me? That doesn't feel great. I'm going to use my Tailwind while I can. And then just Terra Blast this. And Wicked Blow Ogre. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay with this. Battle is cancelled. Haha! <laughs> Alright. Even better. Ride on scaring my opponent away. Oh, they didn't even know what to do. They were like, I don't want to lose to Macho Man. Didn't want to lose to Ride on. I, I understand. I get it. Anyway, on to the next. Up against Jur. Jur rocking another Chen Pao here. Dragonite Chen Pao. Okay, priority, 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 priority. Got it. Bring for Rigiraf. I understand the assignment. Um, honestly, I could do like Frigiraf plus Rillaboom. Get a fake out turn happening. Bring my ride on in the back. Just start doing some ride on things. I don't know. I don't know what ride on things are, but I'll start doing them. Light game Dursh in the back, maybe. Maybe I just specs chew it up. Loki wouldn't be horrible either. But I think we Dursh in the back. I think we have enough strong, scary things to where that Fluttermane isn't a big problem. And we could also just save Terra on Dursh. The problem is, when you bring right on, you kind of... <laughs> With that garbage typing, you kind of are forced to just Terra the ride on. All right, Dragonite Entei, double these speeders. Interesting. Double inner focuses. All right. Not fun. Not fun at all. But possible. Very possible. I'm gonna Trick Room. And I think I go right into ride on. I'm gonna have to eat a Sacred Fire, wish me luck, but I got no other choice. Cause like, I can't keep my Rilla on the field right now. Nah, that, that would just be silly. I wonder what their Dragonite's gonna do. Is this just an Outrage turn for them? Okay, their Sacred Fire Ring, my Ferrigiraffe. They burn my Ferrigiraffe. Alright, two things I don't like already. They're aerial acing my fridge raft. We're living. All right, we got trick room up. Works for me. And as long as the fridge stays on the field, they cannot go for e speedy stuffs. All right. Um, I'm gonna hold my earthquake for now because I just put gr ground terrain on the floor, which was probably in hindsight not the greatest idea, but hey, it is what it is. I'm gonna go for hyper voice now. Go for the Fairy Terra, Terra Blast, this Dragonite, get rid of this thing. I highly doubt either one of these Pokemon are going to Terrasalize when they can't go for E-Speeds in front of me, so. 
We're just gonna take advantage of the no terrestrialization terrestrialize herself and see if we can blow up this Dragonite. And I also don't think they're expecting the Fairy Terra Terra Blast coming out of this Rhydon. Yeah, that's a, that would be a no. They don't expect it. Fairy Terra Terra Blast into the D-Knight. Bop. Almost bye-bye. But the Hyper Voice should finish the rest. Beautiful. All right, D-Knight's gone. It's a big Pokemon knocked out on their side of the field. Let's see what they decide to go for here with the Entei. I'm assuming it's it's just a Snarl or maybe just another Sacred Fire. On my fridge raft? No, it's a stomping. Oh, even better. I get to keep my ride on around for another turn. Okay, the way they play there, the way they're playing there, it feels like you're assault vested. Especially with how little damage they just took from that that hyper voice. So if that's the case, they don't have protect. But the problem is, I gave I put grassy terrain on the field. So if I go for EQ, that's like super reduced damage. Not worth. I'm gonna hard swap my Rilla out. I think I want a Supercell Slam here. Realizing that the Raging Bolt isn't that much of a threat for me. I'm, I'm not gonna sack Rilla off. For what? For what? Let's just go for a Psychic onto Entei. And a Supercell Slam onto Entei. Just in case they go for the Terrestrialization here. Perfect. They're protecting on that side slot. They don't have Protect on that Entei. Super Assault Vest and Supercell Slam! Oh god. That didn't do that much. Hopefully the Psychic does a little more. Okay. It did do a little more. But this Entei is scary, man. Alright. Thank goodness I didn't swap in Arilla. That would have been bad. Alright. Now they have E-Speeds and stuff. That's fun for nobody. But the thing is, like, they can't go for electric moves because of, uh... Because <laughs> how stupid my Pokemon is. Alright, let's go for the Rilla swap. We can go for a high horsepower on that Entei spot. Do as much damage as we want to it. Again, they still have a Terrestrialization turn, but I think a high horsepower here still does enough to get rid of it. And I'll, now let's go for the Terra Blast on the Raging Bolt. Still no terrestrialization. Listen, E-Speed's not gonna cut it, friend. Big old Terra Blast into the Raging Bolt. Will we do damage? Oh, that's damage. Oh, that's so much damage. High horsepower by Entei. Oh, this, this game's feeling nice. This game's feeling like it's right on its game. Nice try, baby. <laughs> they forgot about Lightning Rod. <laughs> Maybe next time, friend. Uh-oh. I'm smelling a forfeit. Flutter's here. Are you sure? Booster energy's gonna be... Special attack. Okay, so that's a little scary. Um, at this point, I'm just gonna Grassy Glide Flutter. I'm gonna ignore the Raging Bolt because who cares? And just Terra Blast Flutter as well. They gotta find some way to do damage to my... To my ride on. They protect again. They're trying to stall the trick room. I get it. But we called it. Oh, they double double. Okay. They double protect. Fair. The grassy glide will be running out soonish. I think I have to try to keep it up. Maybe. I don't know. It's not like mandatory that I keep it up. Cause the thing is, like, what is the Raging Bolt can't touch my Rhydon. I really only have to focus down this Flutter to win the game. Cause I don't think the Raging Bolt has literally anything. All right, let me U turn out. Let's go for the Terra Blast now onto this Flutter. They're gonna Terrasalize. This game's getting legit. What are we doing? The game's not over. My opponent hasn't given up yet. Gonna go for the Terra Fairy on the Flutter. Terra Fairy Flutter entering the meta. Welcome back. It's not like you went anywhere. And then just going to go for a straight Dazzle Gleam. I'm not a Soul Vested. This might hurt me a lot. Oh, that hurt me a lot. <laughs> and then Draco. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that will hurt me a lot. But now, you know what? That just locks in the fact that they can't win if my Rhydon lives. For as long as my Rhydon lives, they cannot get a victory here. 
big damage onto the flutter. Urshifu, welcome to the game. All we gotta do now is protect. Oh, actually, a sucker punch. Sucker punch KOs flutter from that range. Yeah, we're fine there. And then Terra Blast, finish the Raging Bolt. Yeah, get out of here. <laughs> Bye. I was like, why am I detecting? I can just sucker punch this thing. It's one HP. It's in the red. It's still a Flutter Mane at the end of the day. And now that Flutter Mane's gone, there's no damage that the Raging Bolt can do. This won't even knock the Ursh. Right on. At the very last battle, you proved to everyone out there that wasn't a Rhydon Believer. That they should be a Rhydon Believer. Wow. <laughs> Rhydon legitimately stood in front of that Raging Bolt and left and never stopped laughing until the very end. Okay, Fear the Taco 1790 on Discord. What a team. Absolute blast to play. And I do greatly appreciate that you posted this on the Pokesports rental, uh, uh, rental coach chat to go ahead and give me the opportunity to play here on Pokesports. Never thought I'd get to play right on, you know, in Generation 9. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed today's video, hit the like button down below, subscribe to Pokesports if you haven't done so already. Also, if you want some more Patreon stuff or some more Pokesports in your life, consider becoming a patron or become a YouTube member where you get early videos and exclusive battle videos, two battle videos a week, kind of where I'm trying to grind on another cart to get as high as I can on the ladder. Currently, we're doing pretty darn good, so if you want to check out how, how high we can get in the month of February, that's the place to be. Anyway... I'm going to Sports. Have yourselves a fantabulous rest of your day. Peace out and bye-bye.